great conversation right there. So again, I I I was I was amazed at their Facebook post, man. I mean, it it just came over. It's the guys that been there for like three years and really, really, really enjoy it there. You know, I mean, it's it's a few, <clears throat> but not that many that has anything bad to say about this company, you know, but for me, you know, 50 cent a mile ain't bad. And it sure ain't bad for a person that got one year of experience either. So if you work for, you know, like Swift, Snyder and the rest of them, you got your year in with them after getting your license, then Grand Rapids Transport will probably be a good company for you. You know, they do hire, they do hire out of, out of any states. If you don't want to go to a certain state, you don't have to. They're not forced dispatched. And it probably might be a good company. Like this guy says, he's, he's planning on retiring from them. Morning, Grand Rapids Transport. Uh, good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. You guys came through on my Facebook post, and I actually took the time to read through all the comments on uh, on you guys. And it seems like you guys is a pretty interesting uh, company. You mind if I ask you, uh, mind if I get a little bit more information about the company? No, that's fine. Awesome, awesome. How how much experience do you guys require? One year. Okay, okay. Cool. What about uh what about for pre employment drug screening? Do you guys do hair follicles or both? No, we just do urine. Uh hair is not FMCSA approved quite yet. Yeah, not yet. They talking about it though. <laughs> yeah, right. they are. All right. Uh what about uh now it's it in the comments or on the on the main post, it says that you guys do CPM and uh, hourly. How how did how does that work? So we do cents per mile on all payroll miles, you know, from pickup to delivery mm -hmm. zip codes, mm -hmm. and then we also do hourly, um, depending on you know, like how long you're sitting at a dock waiting to get loaded or unloaded. Would that be like so? So that. That wouldn't be like detention pay. That that would just be straight hourly as soon as I get in the dock, right? Yeah, like it, and it goes based on your appointment time. So, like, let's say your appointment time was nine a.m. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get there at seven a.m. and then you're sitting there for two hours, um, that obviously wouldn't be it because your initial appointment was nine o'clock. But yeah, if you get there like during your appointment time, and then they're they're taking their time and not getting to you right away, then we pay hourly as well. Okay, okay. How what is what is the pay per mile? Um I will tell you that it's probably lower than others, but we also have extra like uh safety bonuses, mileage bonus, all that. It is fifty cents. Okay. Now let me ask and then you after this. a year it goes up. Now let me ask five you, years and now let me ask you this. Is that fifty cent coming in or because of if I got, you know what, it ain't no if, but I got like seven years of experience. So would it be a little bit more for me or would it be 50 cent for me coming in? No. Yeah, it's just starting, starting coming in. Everybody starts the same. Okay. Now that's the paper mile. Now how much, how much is it hourly? Should be on here. Um, $15 per hour. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, what, what's the equipment that you guys drive and what's the trucks governing that? So the trucks are governed at 74, which our insurance likes to yell at us about. Um, it, it's because we go West. We have to be able to go a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, when they pass the speed limiter mandate, we'll see what it ends up being then. But as of right now, it's 74. Um, we run all internationals, uh, automatic transmission. The oldest trucks in our fleet are 2018, so we constantly try to trade them out. Um, but, yeah, they're all, um, some are single bunk, some are double bunk, but they're all international all right. automatics. Uh, dash cams in the trucks? 
Yes, and we use Samstara for dash cams and the ELD. All right, so that's fake driver facing or no? No. Oh. Um, we'd rather not go that route. <laughs> <laughs> it's just outward facing. Oh, okay. uh, eventually, I, I can see someday the industry is going to say you have to do both. But, yeah, right now it's just outward facing so that if anything happens on the road, we've got some coverage. Awesome. Other than the driver cams, what, what other amenities are in the truck? Um, honestly, I'm, I'm answering all your questions right now, but I'm the safety director. The guy that uh, normally does all of these is the owner, and he's gone right now. Oh, okay. Awesome. Um, so all I, I mean, I can, I can give you what I know. That's um, not a problem. From not, what I, not a problem. <laughs> from what I understand, there's the refrigerators built in. I don't think there's microwaves. Um, but a lot of drivers have them in there. I want to say that you can get Sirius radio because um, we have the whole Bluetooth thing set up too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those are probably more questions for him, but that's awesome. all I know. Well, so no, far. That, that's, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Do you guys, uh, well, let me ask you this. Do you guys offer uh, lease opportunities there or no? We don't. Um, it's all just company drivers, um, our trucks. Okay. Yeah. Force dispatch. No. Good. Well, that's one because okay, I, so don't, yeah, I, I, don't like, little... <laughs> I don't I don't like I don't like going in the northeast. So <laughs> No, so here's here's the deal. Um and this is why we end up having a lot of drivers stay here long term. The driver that's been here the longest has been here since nineteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Um we we may be a little bit lower pay, but we're all very flexible as far as other stuff. So you know, if you tell us, you know, you don't want to go certain areas, you know, we'll, we'll try to get you everywhere else. Now, once in a while, I'm not going to lie, like sometimes there'll be a load that we just have to get covered. Right. So we may ask you to do something, but for the most part, where you want to go is where we'll try to set it up. And then we back call you out of that area back to the terminal here in right. Jenison, Michigan, which is outside of Grand Rapids. Oh, okay. Awesome. Awesome. Because I, like I said before, I don't like the Northeast. So as long as you can keep me from yeah. up there. If you don't want to go there, yeah, <laughs> right. We're, we're, we're good to go. Um, no, we right. go all over, including Canada, if you were ever interested, but you don't have to do that either. Awesome. So let me ask you this. For a driver that's, that's, has, that has his CDLs, uh, hmm? and let's say he hasn't been driving for a while, and I guess this is a good question for you being the safety director. Uh are there any refresher courses that you guys uh, that you guys can offer? We don't do that. Um, what we do is when you get here, we'll do a road test and see how your driving is. Mm -hmm. um, if it's really not up to par, then we'll, we'll you know say, hey, there, I mean, there's there's definitely classes that you can take around here um, mm -hmm. or wherever you're from, uh, and then you can come back and try and take another road test. But yeah, we. We try to stay out of the whole training realm because if we do that, then we have to start uh, modifying some of our other hiring practices. Gotcha. All right. Now, you just mentioned you guys is up in Michigan. I'm out of Ohio. So how many miles I can average? Oh. How, how, many, uh, how many miles I can average uh, during regional? Uh, honestly, most of our drivers are hitting about 30000 a quarter. Okay. So however you want to break that down. Um, and then also our mileage bonus is kind of based on that too. If you hit 30,000 in the quarter, you get an extra uh, 100 bucks, plus you get an extra 5 cents per mile between 30,000 and 40,000. All the extra miles there, you get an extra 5 cents. All right. um, but most, most people will hit that, whether they're going west or east or anything like that. But yeah, we that's what we tend to average for our drivers, about 30,000 miles a quarter. Some go higher, some go lower. It just depends on how you want to run. Awesome, awesome. Uh, home time. So if I'm running regional, would I get home Friday, off Saturday, Sunday, and come back on Monday? It just depends. Like when you say regional, we we have we have loads that will backhaul out of Ohio, but usually it's going outbound somewhere else first. Like it may be going south. Uh, east, not necessarily northeast, but just east um, or west. And so, you know, we have a couple city drivers that will tend to do like the local stuff. But as far as regional, we are kind of all over and then we'll backhaul through there. 
Mm-hmm. So, for example, let's say you were um, taking a load to Georgia, and then we backhaul you out of there. We might have a stop off in Ohio where you could get some home time and then continue on back to the terminal. Okay. Or you'd take off going outbound, um, you know, with a, with a loaded trailer. And I don't know if you have a place to park any of that where you are, but, you know, if you take off with a loaded trailer, go home for a couple of days and then continue on, we just schedule deliveries around that. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, pet and wider policy. And what is the youngest that I can bring my, my younger person with? Uh, 12 years old is pretty much the cutoff for insurance. Um, and we're okay with a rider. We just have you, there's a rider slip that you fill out here that you keep a copy and we have one. And we usually, you know, about every six months want to get that updated. If it's somebody that's going to continue, continue to ride with you. All right. Do you guys accept, uh, SAP drivers from the, uh, FMCSA? Uh, yeah. Oh, y'all, y'all do? We do. I've oh, worked okay. with... Honestly, I've only worked with one guy that I had to do that with. He had already completed the program. And so I was just getting with his SAP officer to find out, like, you know, the random schedule that they give you to that you have to complete and then you're cleared. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah, we will work with that. We've done it before. We, you know, you have to pay for all the testing, but we, we will set up the randoms and do it that way. Awesome. All right. I guess my last question is what what's. What's the uh, sign-on incentive? You see how I changed that, right? I don't, I don't, I don't I say do. bonuses uh-huh. no more. <laughs> so what's the I sign-on know. incentive? Want to say? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's see here. Um, I want to say five hundred. Which okay. again, like I know that our pay is lower than others, but people seem to be happier here. Well, <laughs> just okay. depends on what you're looking for. Well, again, uh, but yeah, we give you that, oh. and then if you leave within ninety days, then we have to take it back. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there is a stipulation. Well, okay. I mean, there's got to be, otherwise, somebody's going to come here, do a load, and then be done, and then we're out a ton of money because not only are you doing the sign-on bonus, but there's money involved to run the PSPs, MVRs, right. pre, you know, pre-employment drug tests. I mean, there's just there's a lot that goes into it. So yeah, we have to have some stipulations in there. All right. Well. Grand Rapids, you guys are located out of uh, Michigan. How would I get up there for the orientation? Um, it just depends. If you don't have a vehicle, um, we could probably arrange something. I don't know what yet. It just depends on, like, we've done all sorts of different things. Um, yeah, so yeah. it just depends. That, that You would probably talk to Dave about. He's the owner. He's the one they normally talk to. I'm Wednesday. Mm-hmm. I'm the safety director. Um, well, but yeah, if you are interested, uh, we run everything through 10th street. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know if you're familiar with them, but yeah, yeah. Driver, driver pulse. Yeah. Yeah. Driver exactly. Pulse the pulse match thing. Well, listen, so th- yeah, thank you very much. It, you know, the, the cent per mile coming from where I'm at right now is, it's kind of a big deal for me, but it may not work out for me, but I, I do have a network of drivers that I can definitely send this information over to. So, sure. yeah, so or for anybody. I, I will do that. I will do that. I will go ahead and post it in my in my Facebook groups and everything. So thank you very much. I mean, that, I mean, no from from the comments and the Facebooks that you have. It seems like it's a it's a it's a good company for, you know, maybe for people yeah. that starting out and everything and. And I guess the yeah. I guess the CPM and the and the um and the uh, hourly pay will probably you know probably tip somebody too. So, but uh, yeah, awesome. I mean that's, that's constantly evolving. Very much awesome. Thank you, ma'am. All right, thank you. All right, now if uh, Grand Rapids Transport is something that tips you fancy, let me know in the comments below. The the information for them will be in the description. Give them a call. See if that'll work out for you. Let them know Lockout Men sent you. And uh, that's going to do it for today's MTC Spotlight. We're looking at Grand Rapids Transport. All right? Give them a call. See what they can do. Until next time, stay tuned for the next MTC company Spotlight coming soon. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on and me, class kids went pop.
Death to the hit, it won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, the bars, you got bops. Heard you writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Yellow fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.